Gambrinus Premium 12. Welcome to another edition of Band Bikes and Bose Reviews. I have got another one tonight from the Czech Republic. Now, I did mention on the previous video that I did that tonight we are playing Eintracht Frankfurt. When I say we, I obviously mean West Ham United. Is there any other football team in the United Kingdom? I don't think so. We are playing Eintracht Frankfurt in the Europa League, so I'm not drinking German beers out of solidarity with... <laughs> I don't know, whoever, but I've got a bottle of this stuff and this was given to me by my German mate, Norby. Thank you very much for that, mate. And it is the Gambrinus Premium 12. Now, this is a pale lager from the Czech Republic and it is brewed by, well, it's Pilsner Urkel, but obviously Pilsner Urkel. I erroneously said in the last video that I, they were owned by Carlsberg. They're not, of course, they're owned by Asahi the Japanese multinational or macro brewer, if you like, who own quite a few breweries, uh, Fuller's to name one. Pilsner Urkel, yes, so this is brewed in Pilsen, but is it a pale lager from what I can make out? Yeah, well, it says premium lager beer on the side, so it is, it's not a Pilsner, but it is brewed in Pilsen. And it was, as I say, it was given to me by my German mate. Now, Pilsner Urkel, need no introduction. So I'm going to talk about the name Gambrinus. Gambrinus was or is a god who was supposedly the god of brewing, jo joviality and basically having a good time. He sounds like a bit of a pisshead to me, a bit of a liability. One of these geezers you go out with and he's, he's always good for a laugh but then he has a little few too many and then all sorts of shenanigans can happen. Not like me of course. We're very well behaved when I've had a few beers. Now, anyway. Don't ask me about 20 years ago, but there you go. Anyway, moving along swiftly. Now, the point I want to make about this is, obviously, he's, he's a god, he's well known, he is supposedly the Germanic god of brewing and joviality. Uh, he's not a patron saint. It's been touted around that he's a patron saint of brewing and all that. That's not true, that's been made up, if ever you read that. But what I will say is there are a few beers that carry the name of Gambrinus. And I think there are outlets, and I think this one comes from Germany, but there are outlets where this is brewed, and it's not just, I don't think it's brewed in Pilsen. I know there's a craft brewer in Ohio who brew a beer called Gambrinus. I'm not sure, I think they may be connected with this. I, I don't know, I don't think they are. But certainly the ones in Germany, I think they are using that name, that Gambrinus name. And judging by the writing on this bottle, I'm just looking here, it's it's in German, so, I mean, that makes sense because my me, me German mate had brought this over for me, so I think this may have been brewed in Germany, but there's no guarantee, so I'm at a bit of a loss here, but it looks like a decent one, so let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Right, before we do, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown on this beer. It is a 500ml bottle. It is 5.2% ABV. There is the label. There is Mr. Gambrinus himself. That's what he's depicted as. There's a statue of him in New Orleans where he's got his, all his garb on and he's got a, like a, a chalice full of beer. Christ knows what he's drinking over in New Orleans. It better not be Budweiser because he's going to be mighty angry. I would be anyway. There you go. Um, it's the premium 12, I think, when they say 12, I think that's the the degrees, Plato degrees. I, I think that, that's how they measure the water. And as I say, I've said it in the last video as well, 
they do make a big thing about listing that and I think the Czech Republic are the only country that do that because I've not seen that anywhere else. Here's a funny story for you. As I say, West Ham were on tonight and I went over to the shop to get four cans of Budvar because that's what, that's my fridge filler and it's what I drink when I'm watching West Ham. And it goes around the corner in Skunk Central. I, was, I asked him to get some in and uh, he'd forgotten. He's a lovely fella, but he said, oh, we've got loads of bottles. And <laughs> I explained the reasons why I don't drink beer out of green bottles and I could see his eyes glazing over and it, I was just wasting my time I knew I was and as I'm telling him how the hops react with the light he, the look of confusion on his face <laughs> I just thought why am I doing this why am I boring the shit out of him but one thing I will say bless him he, he, he felt a little bit guilty because I did ask him to get something in the end got him he was going to give me a bottle for free and I was like no 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 it's fine mate don't worry about it but he's getting something tomorrow apparently so I'll probably nip around here and fill the fridge up. But there you go. That's it. Let's get it open. Let's see what's going on. My mate Norby has said this is a good one. So, and he drinks this quite regular. So, this could potentially be one of the better. And it's a pale lager. So, I am going to compare this with Budvar. And Budvar is brewed in the Czech Republic using Sartz hops, which most Czech beers are. So this, again, like the last one, the Krušovica, that hasn't got much carbonation in it at all. Look at that, it's almost non-existent. Very, very small bubbles. Not much of a head on that at all either. Let's see if we can do something about that. There it is, a little bit more carbon. Oh, it's gone. The carbonation has just all dis dissipated. Head's still there, though, on the nose. Mmm. That don't smell great, to be honest. There's not much aroma at all. There's the cat, by the way. So it's just the, just the logo. Can you see that? There you go, keep it in the light. Oh, come on, auto focus, you fucking bell end. Jesus. There you go. There you go, Lois. There is not much on that aroma at all. I really am not getting a lot. Vague hints of malt, but. Nah, I'm not really getting anything. Mmm, okay, this doesn't bode well. On the odd occasion, I have had a beer that doesn't have much aroma, but the flavour's been good. Mm, let's check it out. Wish me luck. It's actually quite similar to Budvar. It's got a bit of a grainy palette and the finish is slightly bitter. But again, it's, it's not outstanding. It's it's quite refreshing, goes down quite easily, quite drinkable. It just lacks a bit of character, to be honest. There's a vaguely bitter finish. To be honest, I think the Budvar is, is slightly better, but there's not a lot to really make this stand out for me. It's, it's just run of the mill, to be honest. It doesn't really have, let's look at the ingredients. All the ingredients are in German. I'm just reading it, it's all in German. Um, ingredients, uh, Wasser, Gaston malt, hop fern, azugi. Oh, fucking hell. My mate is gonna fucking crucify me for that pronunciation. So it's basically saying it's got water, barley malt and hops. 
it should be stored in a cool and dry place and that's about it really it doesn't say where it's brewed it says there is an eight percent deposit on this or eight percent eight i think that might be cents or something um it says it's brewed in pilsen in the czech republic or well, that's probably where it's based but i do know for a fact that this is actually brewed in germany as i say as well and everything's in german on here mm. i'm wondering where i should do a comparison video with the budvar no probably not i don't know I, I think this should have its its own review but I have to say, I do think the Budvar is a little bit better than this. Um, this isn't bad, don't get me wrong. It, it's not a bad beer. It just doesn't set me on fire, if you know what I mean. Now, there are some good Czech beers. The last two I've had, the, the Krusevice, uh, fucking, again, another terrible pronunciation, and this. I would imagine they're pretty run-of-the-mill beers in the Czech Republic because they certainly taste like it. I know I'm comparing, well, I'm not comparing two different styles, but one was a Pilsner, one was a, one is a pale lager. But immediately I think the Budvar is better. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm used to it, but there, there isn't that much of a, of a flavour on this one. I'd say it's on a par with the uh, Krusevice in, um, in the quality stakes. It's it's just okay. There's nothing outstanding. Not a massive character on this. No real nasties, which is a good thing. Um, and it's drinkable. And in a pinch, I wouldn't have any qualms about drinking a few of these. But it wouldn't be my go-to beer. It's just one of them beers that you drink, you know there's no nasties in it. I don't care if Asahi owned them or, or whatever. Um, it's certainly better than the offerings from AB InBev and the, than the Carlsberg owned Bex and Holston. But as pale lagers go, yes, it has got a little bit of Czech character to it when it comes to pale lager. There's a slight bitterness on there from the Sartops hops on, on the end of it. Not as, it's not a Pilsner, so, I'm not expecting big hot bitterness on the end, but it's just just average to be honest. Yeah, just okay. Nothing special, just okay. So what is the verdict on Gambrinus Premium 12? Uh, in a word, average. I think there's better beers out there. I think the Budvar is slightly better, but that may be because I'm used to it. But this is, it's an okay fridge filler. I don't know how much you would pay over here in the UK for this. I imagine this is quite cheap in Germany. And I think if it's quite cheap, then it's not a bad fridge filler. But if you're in Germany, there's much better German fridge fillers. I mean, for example, Felton's do some fantastic beers that are relatively cheap. That I mean, my mate, he claims that the cans of Felton's are his fridge filler. So, and it, honestly, if you look at the price of beer over in Germany, it, it is so cheap compared to the UK. I know we have a minimum pricing per unit, and they do in Scotland. I think they have it down here as well. Hence the reason why Tenant Super, Kestrel Super have dropped the ABV, probably because A, the price, and B, they don't want people who are a bit down on their luck drinking it. And I, I do get that, actually. I mean, I know they probably turn to spirits and all that. It's, it's quite sad in a way. I'm not, I'm not going to take the piss out of people that are, have got a dependency on alcohol. It's, it's not a nice thing to have. I enjoy alcohol, but you know, I, I do advocate the drinking of alcohol, but... You know, and I do joke about the government recommendations and units and stuff like that, but it, it's no fun when you've got an addiction like that. And yeah, I, I do feel sorry for some people. That, and I've seen mates as well. I, I don't want to bring the fucking mood down and all that, but you know, you, 
it's it's one of those things where it's a, it's a fine line between loving a drink and then it becoming a way of life, which for me, thankfully, is not that. I do drink. I wouldn't say every night. I do have a break, but I, I love a beer and I don't drink spirits. Rarely drink spirits. Uh, I don't drink any other. I've, you know, I fucking don't drink wine. You got more chance of platting piss and knitting fog on the 30th of February than you have of me drinking wine. What's that? That's Merlot. It's fierce. Um, wine. Rose Magic. Wine. I'm not a hairdresser living up in Dublin. Wine. I will cook with it though. As long as it's all burnt off. It, it, it's good for cooking food with, but I wouldn't fucking drink this shit. But yeah, some people, you know, they do take it to excess and all that. And I've seen mates, and it's, it's killed mates of mine. So it's, it's not something I'm going to joke about. But yeah, where was I going? I was talking about fridge fillers. <laughs> fucking hell. Talk about going down a dark alley. Jesus, let's lighten up and bring us out of that dark place and get back to this. Well, yeah, as I say, it's just average. It's not, it's not a bad beer but it isn't one that would make me want to go out my way and rave on about and tell everyone how great it is. So for that reason, I'm going to give that, again, like the the, the, the Krusevica, I fucking, I'm probably butchering that fucking pronunciation, but I'm going to give that a six and a half as well. It's just okay. No nasties, nothing making it stand out. It's just okay. And remember, beer is working class champagne.